Hello guys, welcome to the year 29 session of the NTD framework code 2.0 tutorial. In this session, we will learn how to handle the concurrency using the NTD framework code 2. Concurrency can flick occur when the one user changed the value of the entity before the saving it, another user was modified and the save the same entity. If you are not enabled the direction of the such a conflict, then the database will contain the only overrided value. Entity framework support the optimistic concurrency by default. In the optimistic concurrency, entity framework save the if the data within the database has not changed since the entity was loaded. If it determine that the data has changed, then the ADB concurrency exception is thrown, and you must need to handle it before attempting to save it again. Let's switch to the Visual Studio and understand the concept of the concurrency. I am going to create a new action public string perform concurrency and create a try catch block x return x dot message. We require two different contexts for generating the concurrency. The first will be a global context that was available, and we need to create the another context. For that, we require the option for parameter. So I am obtaining the option where option equal to new db context option builder dot use sql server dot option within that matter we need to pass the connection string for that opening the uh, app setting dot json file and copy the connection string and pass it into the uh, method After retrieving the option, we need to create a context. For that, write the library context. Context new equal to new library context, which take the option. So pass the option. After creating it, I am going to retrieve the uh, book b1 equal to context.book.find with the id1 and make the changes in the uh, any property i am going to update the uh, title title using context1 and obtain the uh, book b2 from the uh, context new dot book dot find and retrieve the uh, same book so i am passing the uh, one and update the uh, title for that book too title using the uh, context two and now i am going to change the uh, context dot save changes and then i am going to change the uh, context new dot save changes and return change the both here is error coming mm. here we need to specify the our context type that is a library context save it and run the project Let's switch to the management studio and retrieve the data. Select the database and fire the query. Here book with the id1 contain the title first book. And now we will 
open the uh, perform concurrency action for that write home slash perform concurrency we got the uh, change both and now again fire the uh, select query you can see that it returned the uh, title with the uh, context two. However, by using the uh, context one, we are change it to the uh, title using the uh, context one. After those changing, we are change the uh, book two. Still, it was a success and it does not generate the uh, any exception. This is known as the uh, concurrency. Here, it should be generate the exception. However, it does not generate. To enable the concurrency, we need to perform the some changes. We need to add the tracking column in the table, which is used to determine when the row is changed. Entity framework will use this column in the where clause to perform the delete and the update command. If the value in the tracking column is different than original value, then update and delete operation will not perform because entity framework will be unable to find the row which has the given tracking value. Let's switch to the uh, book model. Add the uh, property of byte array with the name row version and use the uh, timestamp attribute. This timestamp attribute specify that the uh, data type for that field will be a uh, timestamp. After creating the uh, property, we need to tell the entity framework that use this column for the uh, tracking. For this, we need to open the uh, context. Within the on model creating method, we need to write model builder dot entity of book dot property b such that b dot row version dot is a concurrency token now entity framework will handle the concurrency let's save it and run the uh, project I am going to drop the uh, table home slash drop and create it again let's refresh the uh, tables and expand the uh, book columns you can see that it include the uh, new column row version timestamp and the uh, table does not contain the uh, any data so i am going to add the uh, some data select the uh, tutorial stream as a database and fire the execute and again fire the uh, select command now it include the uh, some data and now open the uh, perform concurrency action you can see that it returned the uh, message database operation expected to affect the uh, one row but actually affected the uh, zero data may have been modified detected since entities were load this was the exception message let's fire the select query again you can see that the book title is now titled using the context one this exception is generated when we call the context new dot save changes method because in the aware condition it will include the row version because of this save changes method its value was changed and it does not affect the any rows so we are handle the uh, concurrency by using the uh, entity framework let's see what we are learning in this session first of all we need to create a tracking column of the uh, type byte array which represent the uh, timestamp in the uh, database 
and inform the entity framework that the this column should be used as the a concurrency tool for this we need to use the is concurrency token method for making the a concurrency we need to use the two different contexts to create a new context we need the option after creating the context we need to retrieve any book detail here i am use the find method and pass the id to retrieve the book after retrieving book change the any property here i am change the uh, book title and after read uh, i am retrieving the uh, same book with the uh, different context and again change the uh, same property and call the uh, save changes method if we uh, remove the uh, row version from the uh, model and is concurrency token from the uh, context then entity framework will not handle the uh, concurrency and does not generate the any exception it will override with the last value thanks for watching have a nice day